Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on another video. In today's video, we're on episode three of my lockdown weight gain, fat loss journey, whatever you want to call it, still need a good title. Um, so if you haven't already, please watch episode one and two. I will link them down below. Um, and they basically go through how I let go of my healthy lifestyle during lockdown and gained like seven kilograms why that happened and how I went about trying to change it. So today's video is more of like a vlog style video about moving out and how that affected me and and how I still struggled, <laughs> how the struggle went on and how, oh my gosh, towards the end, a key, a key, key, key part of turning this around and something that I think everyone needs in the health and fitness journey slash lifestyle which is accountability so how I really started getting back on track hope you enjoy this video if you do let me know leave a comment love you so much let's get back into things about five weeks into my journey on July 12th let's go it is moving day I've tried to pack up everything but I've still got loads to do need to bubble wrap the mirror, everything is such a mess. So this is my new room. Um, <laughs> as you can see, I've got a lot to unpack. There's a lot of stuff that I used to keep like in the living room, for example, the massive TV that I now have to fit in my room. There's a desk over there. And everything's just a big old mess and I really need to unpack. Last night I was so tired, yesterday was such a long day that all I had energy for was making the bed and clearly that did not include ironing the sheets. So yeah, there's a lot to do today but I think once I've got everything sorted and out of boxes, praying it should hopefully be okay. This is the bathroom. Um, oh my gosh, these fell off the wall. You know those things that suction onto the wall? They fell off overnight and woke me up and scared the crap out of me. But yeah, it's got a really nice rainfall shower. A huge bathtub, which is very exciting. I'm so tired. So glad, though, that I booked it off work so I could unpack and move everything in because, yeah, it's a lot. Moving is so much work. I love the high ceilings and the lighting. It's so nice. Here's the main living area, really spacey and huge. Please excuse my face. I'm just gonna go, go back to the old flat, clean out a load of stuff. Um, I also have to like reseal everywhere that I hung stuff up and paint over it. I think it was definitely worth it in order to be able to live in a real nice place. But I do think that just like, putting stuff up in rented accommodation is a lot of effort. Glad though, because my landlord really likes a lot of the stuff that I put up, so he's letting me leave like three of the decorations and two of the mirrors up. I say letting me, I guess it's win-win really for both of us. It just feels like this has been forever. It feels like all of last week I was packing, packing, and, and some of the week before, buying boxes, getting tape, hiring movers, moving, sorting, binning, giving away, selling, selling. Someone doesn't show up, sell, give away, someone doesn't show up. <sighs> so yeah, it's been a long process. I'll be very excited at 5 p.m. tomorrow when I can just hand over the keys to my old flat because that basically means that everything I need to sort will at least be in one place. So it will at least be that it's just here that I need to like unpack and sort stuff out. First of all, I think I want to get some coffee and breakfast. That's the good thing about moving is that I've been allowing myself to eat whatever I want because not much other choice, although that also sucks. Ugh. Oh my goodness, you guys. It is 10 p.m. It is all done. I am absolutely sweating from moving stuff, cleaning stuff. I have to be at work at 7 a.m. Taking one day off work to move was not enough. If anyone is watching this, take this as a warning that if you can, book time off if you're going to move. Because the weekend plus one day, it's been really hard. But yeah, let me show you 
The finished product is so echoey in here. Oh my goodness. Let me show you the flat. I honestly feel like it looks better now than when I moved in and no shade intended. And but yeah, I was able to paint over the mirror lines there so it's all clear. I'm gonna leave the white curtains up because I know my landlord's trying to sell and I don't know, I just feel like they look better than the ones that were there before. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's all clean and tidy. All clean and tidy. This is the second bedroom then, changed all the light bulbs, which was such a nightmare to get done, like such a faff. I'm gonna leave that mirror up because I think it looks good, as well as this mirror I'm gonna leave up in the wardrobe, or in the walk-in wardrobe. And the bathroom, it's all clean and tidy. Shower's all clean. Everything is so clean. Then the main bedroom. Yeah, I'm gonna turn off all the lights and make my way out. The move was long and exhausting and I found that I really leaned into the excuses uh, that it gave me like, oh, I can't eat healthy because I need to clear out the fridge and all these other reasons as to why I was too stressed and too busy to actually stick to my healthy diet and exercise routine. I found that even when I made promises to myself so that I would do better, it was really hard to keep those promises. I felt like I was doing it all on my own. No one really knew that I was trying to be more healthy and there was just no... There was just a really low level of motivation and accountability. So one night, or one Sunday night, because as you know, all great things start on a Monday, I just picked up my camera and I said, hi guys, I'm going to be doing live 5.30am workouts on Instagram and you are all invited to join. Hi guys, how are you doing? Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for clicking on another video. Just a super quick video to talk to you guys. In fact, I'm just going to sit down for this. Um, to talk to you guys and tell you that I'm starting to do live workouts at 5.30 a.m. Monday to Friday on my Instagram account. So please, please come and be my workout buddy. I didn't know how to do live Instagram workouts. I didn't have a mic. I didn't have a plan. I just had a promise. And as soon as I told people that, people started messaging and saying, yes, I'm going to join. And I was like, oh my gosh, I actually have to do this. The reason that I did this was because accountability is, is really powerful. It's so key to success in many different areas of life. The dictionary definition of accountability, if we can go into it for one second, is a situation in which someone is responsible for things that happen and they can give a satisfactory reason for them. Um, so it can be defined as the expectation of account giving. And that's what I needed. I needed someone to expect me to give an account of how I was living. Um, research shows that accountability can be a positive enabling factor when it comes to behavior change. I was using my desire to please my internet friends to help me to stick to a behavior that I wanted to stick to. So the thought of someone waking up at 5.30am to tune into the workout and me not being there because I decided to lie in instead, that was like, I could not let that happen. I really needed to show up, not just for myself, but for other people. And that was an incredibly motivating factor. And you know what? It worked. It worked so incredibly well. It was like, no matter what had happened the night before, no matter how tired I was, I dragged myself up and out of bed at 5am, ready to live stream at 5.30am because I knew that there could be one person working out with me, just waiting to work out with me, and I just couldn't let them down. Sometimes there would be no one on the live stream, um, but even then I would still do the workout and still be enthusiastic because I knew that some people were catching up at a later time because I would save the workouts to my IGTV. Some of the workouts were so difficult that I was sweating and struggling and literally like failing on a live broadcast. There were times that I nearly fell over <laughs> live on Instagram. But with time, slowly but surely, I got stronger and it actually became an awesome part of my day that I would really look forward to. I felt energized and strong and um, I would do this before work. So I was starting work at 7 a.m. So it was a real like, there was a real commitment here in terms of I had to be up, I had to be on time and I had to give my best for the people who were working 
them out with me. In the end, we did 40 days, so eight weeks of live 5.30 a.m. workouts before I decided to call it a day. And I was thrilled. I felt so much stronger. I felt more energized. I really did just get fit live on Instagram. If you want to do those workouts, they're all still there on my Instagram. So 40 days, um, eight weeks of exercise, Monday to Friday. And it was a great program that I really enjoyed doing. Accountability changed the game for me. And I truly believe that it is a key factor in so many areas of our lives. Often we just don't realize that it is actually accountability that is keeping us to certain behaviors. I know that broadcasting live workouts isn't for everyone. So if you want a video on multiple ways in which you can stay accountable, then please let me know in the comments and I will make that video for you. Apart from that, to be honest, my diet was still a mess. I was only eating healthily occasionally rather than regularly. So tune back into episode four, if you will, of this journey and to see how I took steps to eventually get my diet back on track too. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, let me know your thoughts and I will see you in my next video. Love you so much, guys. Bye.